Bradley Cooper has always been notoriously private about his relationships. So much so that many have forgotten that he was previously married to Jennifer Esposito for just four months. Their short-lived marriage remained a mystery until Jennifer released a book describing a dark and toxic relationship with a master manipulator that people could only assume referred to Bradley. It's not entirely known when Bradley Cooper and Jennifer Esposito got together. However, what we do know is that it must have been somewhere around the early 2000s. Since both Bradley and Jennifer were up and coming films and TV actors, they must have crossed paths at some point, whether it was at an audition or perhaps a networking party. The pair were very hush-hush about their relationship from the get-go, so it was only really confirmed that they were together in October of 2006, when the actors' reps announced that the couple had gotten engaged in France. I've been really lucky. A little while later, the actress was spotted shopping for a wedding dress in Los Angeles. At the time, Cooper was busy working on the film Failure to Launch alongside Matthew McConaughey and Sarah Jessica Parker. Meanwhile, Esposito was working on Law & Order. The couple got married in December of that year in the south of France, and it was reported that the wedding was intimate, hosting only their closest family and friends. Unfortunately, their newlywed bliss was short-lived. Just four months into their marriage, Jennifer filed for divorce, citing the usual irreconcilable differences. People couldn't help but wonder what could have gone wrong in their marriage after just four months. However, because the pair had always been so secretive about their relationship from the beginning, it was difficult to get any information about what really happened. A few months after the divorce was announced, Jennifer sat for an interview with people and said, It is what it should be. You have to move on. That's what life is about. Taking a situation, making the best of it, and moving on. On the other hand, Bradley stayed silent when it came to speaking about their split. It wasn't until four years later, during an interview with Howard Stern, that he kind of opened up about his divorce from Jennifer. The actor shared, It was just something that happened. The good thing is, we both realized it. Sometimes you just realize it. He went on, adding that the relationship just wasn't right. He concluded by describing his marriage as an experience. That same year, during an interview with Elle, Bradley was asked about the most romantic thing he'd ever done. Cooper answered, Well, I got married. And uh, it, it was an experience I'll never forget. When asked if he and Esposito were still friends, Cooper said, Unfortunately not. Maybe someday. Over the next couple of years, people seem to have almost forgotten about Bradley and Jennifer's short-lived marriage. That is until she released a tell-all book in 2014. In her book, Jennifer's Way, the actress wrote about her harrowing experience with undiagnosed celiac disease. Adding to the intensity of the book, she opened up about her experience with a toxic relationship. She wrote, I should have noticed the red flags from the beginning, but I ignored them because, honestly, I didn't think the relationship was really going to go anywhere. However, she never named the man she was referring to in her book. While his identity remained a mystery, people couldn't help but assume she was referring to her ex-husband. Jennifer continued in her book, He was funny, smart, cocky, arrogant, and a master manipulator. She explained that they had a lot of fun together, but he had a mean, cold side. She added that the relationship was about him and what he needed and nothing else. She went on to confess that even though their relationship wasn't all bad all the time, even though the bad was extremely bad. Five years later, Esposito got tangled up in some more drama around all the publicity Cooper was getting around his film A Star Is Born, alongside Lady Gaga. It's heartbreaking. She does a, such a great performance I know, in the movie. She's I was like, yeah. everybody was weeping. Yeah, she really is. And then like, you came on and were like, aww. <laughs> the pair performed a song from the film at the 2019 Oscars, and their chemistry was so intense that many speculated that they were more than just friendly co-stars. David Spade even choked about their chemistry in an Instagram post, sharing a screen grab from the duet with the caption, Is there any chance these two aren't f***ing? Esposito then commented on the post, writing, Ha! Jennifer explained that her comment had little to do with Cooper and Gaga's viral moment. Rather, And it was towards David Spade's very outward statement about something about an ex. And I literally laughed at him because he was so bold in what he was saying. And she confessed that she hadn't even watched the Oscars or their performance because I don't care what went on. I commented on something that I thought was funny. Her comment on social media also brought her failed marriage to Bradley back to light and with it, her book and her description of a master manipulator. The actress was furious about how the media focused on the relationship aspect of her book 
rather than her struggle with celiac disease. Jennifer spoke out. I almost died. To make it about something so silly and demeaning and stupid of a relationship I had 11 years ago? F*** you. I didn't watch the Oscars. I don't know what went on. I don't care what went on. Over the next few years, Cooper went on to date Renee Zellweger and Zoe Saldana. But his most notable relationship was that with model Arena Shayk. Bradley and Arena first sparked dating rumors in April of 2015. Just one month earlier, the actor had broken up with Suki Waterhouse, whom he had dated for about two years. Arena had also recently split from her boyfriend of five years, Cristiano Ronaldo. With the pair both newly single, people weren't sure what to make of them after they were spotted around town together. In 2016, the couple made their romance red carpet official at a Paris Fashion Week party. They had their arms wrapped around each other the entire time and even stole a kiss during the event. Later that year, it was confirmed that the couple was going to be expecting their first child together after Arena walked into Victoria's Secret Fashion Show with a noticeable baby bump. In March of 2017, Bradley and Arena welcomed their daughter, Leah Cooper. The couple continued to keep their relationship under wraps, rarely commenting on their new life as parents. The following year, Cooper gave a little insight into how becoming a father changed him. And has it changed you, like, dramatically being a father? Yeah. 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 In what way? I think, like, every way. Yeah. He shared, I guess having a child and having a family of my own, which is a miracle and something I've always dreamt of, has opened me up even more, I guess, to the day and to be present. He added, that's the thing I want my daughter to have. I just always want her to feel loved. Unfortunately, in 2019, a source revealed that the pair were on the rocks and hadn't been getting along for a while. It was confirmed that they officially broke up after more than four years together. More than half a year after their split, Shake opened up about her relationship with Cooper. I think in all good relationships, you bring your best and your worst. Two great people don't have to make a good couple adding that they were very lucky to experience what they had with one another. As for Jennifer Esposito, she went model Louis Dowler in 2014. However, they later divorced, although it's not known when. Since then, the actress married her third husband, Jesper Verstestrup, in September of 2020. And while there isn't much information out there about their marriage, it seems that things between them are going well, and Jennifer is happy. If there's one thing that we can learn about Hollywood marriages, it's that things don't always work out the way that people expect them to. Whether they're four months long or four years long, getting a divorce is never an easy decision to make. The most important thing to remember is that it's okay to walk away from a marriage that isn't working for whatever reason it may be. Never give up on finding the person that makes you feel happy and loved. Thank you for watching our video, Juicers. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check out some of our other videos on Hollywood's most epic love stories. Be well and be kind.